everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a super quick one. This is um, the same day that I poured, <laughs> you can see it right here, the uh, Tetris coaster base. And I have some a lot of leftover resin. Um, so I'm planning to fill these crystal candle molds with it. Hopefully I have better luck getting out the uh, final piece than I did the last time that I poured one. I don't think I showed it on camera, but boy, it was a struggle. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pour this and see how it does. And with these, I only want to pour them about halfway. And then I'm going to go in and kind of squeeze at the base of the crystals to get all of the bubbles to rise. Go around like this. And the last time that I poured this mold, um, I did that and I didn't have any bubbles at all, which was awesome. So hopefully a little squeezing technique works. And I'm just filling it all the way up. Squeeze in a little bit. Okay, and we will move that over and pour this one. Hopefully I have enough for this one. I can feel my resin is getting hot already, so. If I seem like I'm in a rush, it's because I am. so I'll just pour it into this mold I try not to waste resin if I make too much there we go and let's see put it in this one so this will be a multi-layered one Probably, because I don't think I have enough. Well, I might have enough to fill it. So, we have all of these poured, stick around, we'll be back in 24 hours to unmelt them. Alright guys, so these are nice and cured, we're going to go ahead and unmold them. I'm going to try to <laughs> unmold them. These, these are a pain in the absolute butt to unmold. I had I struggled so hard with these uh, the last time I did it. Like I said, I don't remember if I did it on camera or not. But anyway, you can already see there's a big bubble in this one. But this was just leftover resin that I was just trying to use up. So why don't we start off with the easy ones. Loosen this up. And this is just a little square trinket dish. Oh, it turned out real nice. Very cute. 
All right. I always try to make sure that I put my molds back in the correct position so that they don't like warp or anything if they stay in the unfolded position for too long. Yeah, that's a big bubble right there. And so this is the heart one. And there we go. Very pretty. Okay. Can you tell that I'm not looking forward to these? <laughs> okay. And I'm going to make y'all watch me struggle <laughs> with this. Ow. Break a nail doing this. So here's one of the issues. There's little like cracks between the crystals and the mold loves to just hold on to those. <clears throat> I knew I was going to regret doing this one. I knew it. <laughs> It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Okay. Ow, ow, ow. The struggle is real. Oh my God, it's free. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> There's one. Come on and focus here, camera. You can do it. There we go. I mean, it turns out very pretty. It's just a pain in the tuchus to get it out. And look at this mold. Good grief. Like, look, that's already kind of torn right there. I don't think I'll be adding these to the shop. I really don't. Um, I'll probably add these ones that I made, and that's going to be about it. Because <laughs> cheese and crackers, this is hard. I'm going to need a stiff drink after this. <sighs> ah, you can do it, Megan. You can do it. Oh, my God. The struggle is really, really real. <clears throat> right here is killing me. This is a, a five minute portion of the video already.
Oh my god. Someone want to come do this for me? <laughs> Please! Please help me. And I will tell you this. <clears throat> it's not a cheap mold by any means because a cheap mold would have really torn apart by now. This thing needs to come with unmolding instructions. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I can't. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. I feel like I just ran a marathon. I mean, it's a good thing that these aren't fully cured because. I can't imagine trying to unmold this thing <laughs> after it's fully cured. So yeah, it's it's just like a little candle holder thing. I don't even know why I'm bothering to bend those back into position because <laughs> I think they're going to be donated. Anyway, those are the pieces for today. Thanks for watching the struggle, guys. Um, again, my shop is open. The link is in the description. It's resinbymegan.com. Megan with an H. Um, and yeah. Take care. I'm gonna I'm gonna go pass out now. Okay.